Hey everyone, welcome to Planning to Prosper and welcome to today's very exciting new release video. Today I finally get to share all of the brand new health and fitness goodies that will be available in the shop as of today. Real quick, a little disclaimer, please forgive the voice. I'm going to try to not go into any coughing fits or anything, but our family is getting over the flu over here. Um, thankfully, we're all on the other side of it at this point, but we're still coughing and congested and all that kind of stuff. So just please forgive that. And then also, I am going to be sharing with you three different items today. I did originally want to have a little bit more to share today, but because I did get sick, I wasn't able to work, and um, I'm just going to have the three items to share today, but look out in the very near future for some more fun goodies um, coming your way, but this will definitely be exactly what you need to get started, so if you are wanting to set some health and fitness goals for the new year in 2023, you will have everything you need today to be able to get that done. So without further ado, let's Let's go ahead and dive into it. The first thing I'm going to share with you is the health and fitness insert. So I'm going to pull up my files app here and my camera does not like it when I put a big white like screen up so it might blur out a little bit. Apologies for that but um, as per usual with the inserts they come in dark mode and light mode and included with your purchase you receive the landscape orientation version of the inserts and the portrait orientation version. So for filming purposes today, I'm going to share with you the light mode landscape. I feel like that's the easiest way to see everything. Um, but yeah, so just know that it does come in both those modes as per usual too. And so we're going to go ahead and open up light mode and landscape. There are 70 inserts to share with you all. So tons and tons of trackers and worksheets and all sorts of fun things related to health and fitness. So let's go ahead and open the first one up, which is going to be this 30 day challenge. Now these are transparent PNGs that you would layer on a blank page within your planner in the Prosper You Planner hub specifically. There are notebook sections within the hub that you could put these in. You could put these in your one month planners. You could put them in an add on behind a divider, however you want to do it. I will be sharing a little bit of my own setup very soon um, using some of these inserts. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, here is our first one. This is the 30 day challenge. So for this insert, you can put in what your challenge is, a picture or type out, you know, what your reward would be for completing the challenge, start date, end date, your why, and then when I want to give up, I will. And then you have these 30 circles down here that you can color in as you're completing your challenge. So that's the first one. And then here is the next one. So I've got a couple inserts related to 75 hard. I honestly had absolutely no idea what this was. Thankfully, our team member Sharon was able to fill me in and I was able to create these two inserts that I think will be really, really helpful to those of you who do 75 hard. It definitely does sound intriguing to me. So maybe it's something I will give a try at some point. But um, yeah, so up here it has all of the action items for 75 hard. And then there's the 75 circles that again, you can color in as you're completing the challenge. So this is the first insert. And then here's the second one. So it basically gives a row for each day of the week. You can put up here what the dates are and you can put in um, day number one, two, three, four. It's left blank so you can kind of reuse this over and over again as needed. So you can put your progress photo in here that um, check off that you've read 10 pages, check off that you've drank a gallon of water check off that you followed your food plan and then your two workouts for the day. So those are the two 75 hard challenge inserts. And then we have a year in pictures. So this could be progress photos, although there is a progress photos um, specific insert as well. So you could do, you know, maybe you do like pictures of your kids or, um, you know, maybe like your stack of books that you read for the month or something. There's so many different ways that you can use this insert. So that one is really fun. And then we have affirmations. So you have 31 lines here, so you can write in an affirmation or two per day. And then you can always crop out if it's a month with only 30 days or 28 days. You can crop out the other lines that you don't need if you would like. And then we have this mood tracker, which I am so in love with this mood tracker. So here's how it would work. 
um, where these little smiley faces are up here, you can color code those. So say you want like your happy one to be yellow or your super happy to be yellow, your um, you know, happy, <laughs> normal happy one to be purple and so on and so forth. You can kind of color code the moods up here and then you color in the circles to match the mood up there. So it's really, really fun and interactive. I love this one so much. Um, and just a little side note too. So for the dark mode inserts, anywhere you see something where you're going to color in something to color code it or whatever, um, the background will be left white for those for the like actual like so the smiley faces whoopsie the smiley faces would be left um, white in the middle that way when you're using your highlighter tool to color it in it'll actually pop up because using your highlighter on a dark mode um, it just doesn't show up very well so just a little FYI there I can even show you what that looks like here in a little bit but yeah that's how the annual mood tracker would work so it comes January to December it also comes July to June and September to August and you've got all of your days to color in there so I really love that one and then there's the other modes for that the other um, annual formats and then you have a period tracker which it works very much the same way so you would color code heavy medium light and then for each month you would color in the circle like say your period was from the 13th through the 18th and it started out light got heavier then got light again something like that however you want to track your cycle you'll be able to do that with this period tracker so very simple very easy to use so and these inserts have a totally different style i kind of wanted to make them more uh bullet journal E, I guess you could say. So I love the fonts, the thicker fonts and everything. I'm obsessed. But those are the period trackers. And then we have this appointment tracker here. So what you can do is you can write in your appointments, um, your doctor, dentist, whatever your wellness appointments are. And then over here you can write notes. So you can put in the date of the appointment, what doctor you saw, their specialty, the reason you went, and then any notes. So those are some appointment trackers and they again come in this all the different formats so jan to december july to june september to august and all of that and then we get these bean jars which these go along with the stickers so i'll show you the sticker book here in just a little bit but in the sticker book you get these little beans um and you can fill up your jar you can color code like say you want your purple bean to be that you walked you know at least three thousand steps whatever it may be you can put like your goals like okay I want my goal to be that I get um, I don't know 10 green beans <laughs> this month or something like that and then what your reward is and maybe green beans is like 10,000 steps and so you fill up your bean jar over here there's there are so many different ways that you can use this bean jar insert it's super fun and just another disclaimer we have sick cranky children right now too so you might hear Jules like crying in the background that's my youngest um, she has been wanting to come up here to hang out with me a lot and we told her she's trying to film so just FYI if you hear crying and stuff she's totally fine it's just she's wanting to be in here with me and right now I'm filming so there you have it um but anyway so that's the bean jar it comes in two different styles it comes in this really cute one with a bow on the jar and then it also comes with a plain one here so that's the bean jar insert and then you have a blood pressure log where you can put the date, the time, and then all of your information for your blood pressure, a big giant section where you can put any notes as well. And then there's also a blood sugar log. So again, you got columns for your date, your time, your level, I keep going into coughing fits. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to get through this video as best I can. And then a big giant section for notes as well. And then you have your daily gratitude. So you have a line per day to write in what you are grateful for. And then a totally different type of style where you can put a picture of what you're grateful for for each day of the month. So there's 31 photo frames here where you can put in, you know, a picture of what you're grateful for, which I love. And then there's this nice big habit tracker here where you can kind of check off your different habits and everything or you can color it in, whatever you want to do. 
And then there's this how I am doing um, page. I wanted to do something where you can kind of keep track of like how you're feeling, um, if you're tracking your symptoms, all that kind of stuff. So there's a section where you can do today's moods, symptoms, and my day. And you can put week of here and there's seven columns to use there. And then you get into your measurements insert. So you've got all this stuff over here that you can write for your before stats and your after stats. So there's three different versions of the measurements insert. This third one here has a little spot where you can do a before and after picture as well, which is really cool. And then we get into our medication schedule. So if there are particular medications you need to take on certain days and times and things like that, and you're needing a place to kind of write all of that down, this is a great insert for that. So you can write in the medication, the dosage, the time that you take it, the days that you take it, and then any notes over here as well. So you get a Monday start and a Sunday start for that particular insert. And then there's also a medication tracker where you can write in all of your medications and then mark off when you're taking them throughout the month. And then we have this migraine tracker here. So this was a heavily requested insert. And for the migraine tracker, you have a spot where you can write in the date, the start time, when your migraine started, when it stopped, and then a spot where you can use the highlighter tool and mark the pain level. And then you can also mark which intervention you use to treat the migraine and you can kind of label what intervention A, B, C, and D is down here at the bottom. And then also a spot where you can write notes about it. So that is the migraine tracker. And then we get into a miles tracker so you can color in the shoe. Um, I wanted to do lots of like coloring in type of stuff and just make this really interactive. So these were really fun to put together. But you can color in the shoe for when you, you know, meet your, your goal and you can write in your total miles there. So there's the miles tracker and then there's a month end reflection. This was also a heavily requested one. So you can circle which month it is and then you can write in this month's accomplishments, what worked well this month, lessons learned this month, and then intentions for next month. And that comes in the different formats as well. And then we get this monthly tracker, which was sneak peeked in our Facebook group, but this one's really fun. And as you saw in Sharon's post, there are so many different ways that you can use this monthly tracker. So you can use this to mark your moods. You can use it to track habits, um, steps. You could do, you know, 3000 steps, 5,000 steps, 7,000, so on and so forth and um, color in each day when, you know, for the appropriate color coding. So you have a little spot over here where you can color code and you can also mark you know what you're tracking and then you can put the month that it's for right in the middle here so that is a monthly tracker just a very basic one and then you get my milestones so you can mark what the milestones are for you can put your rewards for when you hit certain milestones so for me for example i'm on a weight loss journey so maybe i want to do you know five pound milestones my reward will be you know, this certain book I've been wanting. And then for when I lose 50 pounds, I want to get a pair of rollerblades and learn how to rollerblade, which is one of my goals. But that is how you would use the milestones insert. One other request that I had gotten was to create one for the Miracle Morning, which I was really excited about because I've personally followed the Miracle Morning before in the past. And so I came up with this insert where you're able to check off when you sit in silence. You can write in your affirmations. You can check off your visualization, write in your exercise, write in what you're reading, and then you can do a little journaling right here as well. So that is the Miracle Morning insert. Then we have no sugar challenge for 30 days. So you can put your start date, your end date, your why, when I want to give up, I will, and then your reward right here. And this is a really fun interactive jar where you've got the little sugar cubes and you can color in for each day that you do not have any sugar. So there's that one. And then non-negotiables. This is something that I've personally been wanting to put together for myself. So I wanna put like different areas of my life. So home, for example, family, marriage, work, things like that, and then just put in what my non-negotiables are for each area on each day. Um, for example, for home, it could be a 15-minute tidy, making the bed, and putting one load of laundry in the washer per day, and I know if I do those three non-negotiables that day that I am, you know, honoring my priorities with my home life. Um, for marriage, for example, it could be 
making sure you say I love you every day, um, making sure you show affection, giving a hug, holding a hand, whatever, um, and then maybe like leaving like a little sticky note with um, a kind word or something like that. I don't know, whatever it may be. But you can kind of come up with what your non-negotiables are. There's six boxes here and then of course you can always crop some of the boxes out or you can crop some out and add them to an insert if you need more. So that'll be a really fun one to use that I will definitely be putting together for myself. And then we have non-scale victory. So when you are on a weight loss journey or if you're trying to gain weight, um, it's important to kind of not just pay attention to the scale when it comes to any sort of weight journey. So I wanted to put together an insert just to list out, you know, for every day of the month what your non-scale victories are so you can make sure you're kind of focused on those things. And then we have a pain tracker. So this works the same way as like the mood tracker where you can co um, color code up here for extreme pain, moderate pain, mild, or none. And then you can color in each circle for the day of the month um, to kind of keep track of your pain. And that comes in the July to June and the September to August format as well. And then we have pounds gained. So you're able to write in the start date, your start weight, and your goal weight. And then there's um, room for 100 circles here. Of course, you can crop some out. So if you don't need all 100, you can easily crop these out. It works the same way where you color in the circle for each pound gained. And then, of course, there's one for pounds lost as well. That works the same way. And then we have progress photos. So you can take, um, like, um, photos of your body or it could even be, like, your skin up close pictures of your skin if you're trying to improve your skin health, things like that. So lots of different uses for this. And then routines. I wanted to personally to have a place where I could write down all of my routines as far as like what I want my ideal workout schedule to be, what I want my ideal skincare routine to be, my AM routine, PM routine. So this gives plenty of space to write um, some lists or to even put by the day of the week what you want. For example, like your workout schedule to be maybe Monday you do upper body, Tuesday you rest, Wednesday you do lower body, so on and so forth. So there's that one. And it comes in a Sunday start as well. And then we have a running log where you are able to track the date, distance, time, pace, and then some notes over here to the side. And then we have a sleep tracker, which I really love this one. I'm definitely going to be using this. So you're able to circle the month that you're tracking for. You put your daily goal of how many hours you want to get of sleep per night. Then you can color code. So this is really fun because you can color code your highlighter for high energy, steady energy, and little energy. And you can try to find patterns. Like for example, if you are getting, you highlight like up to the five mark and you notice, okay, I have little energy. You can use that highlighter color to mark that. If you got like seven and a half hours and you feel fantastic the next day, you got so much energy, you can color code the highlighter to do that. So it works the same way um, as like the migraine tracker where you're able to use your highlighter and highlight up to the amount of hours that you got per, of sleep all the way up to 12 hours. So um, I think the last time I slept, well, actually, <laughs> the last time I slept 12 hours was Monday when I was literally asleep like pretty much all day with a really high fever. So there's that, but yeah, anyways. So there's that one. And then it comes in the different formats too, July to June and September to August. Then you have steps and miles. So if you wanna track both of those, this works the same way as the miles tracker we saw earlier. And you're able to color in the shoe when you meet your goal. And then there's just steps as well. So you get a couple different options with that. And then we have a strength training log. So if you want to track, you know, um, what weight you're using, how many reps and sets and everything like that, you can put the date, what exercise it was, the weight you used, how many reps, how many sets, and notes. Then there's a symptom tracker as well. So you can write in whatever symptoms you're wanting to track and then check it off or um, color it in for each day that you experience that symptom. And then there's therapy notes. So there's a, sec a section where you can put in the date, the therapist, contact information for your therapist, 
topics you'd like to discuss, a summary of today's session, how I'm feeling, and then for the next session. So that could be action items, homework, stuff like that. So there's that one. And then there's a water tracker, so you can circle the month. You can put in your daily goal down here, and then you can mark how many ounces each circle is worth. So for example, say I want just for simplicity's sake to do 80 ounces, you could put each circle is 10 ounces. There's eight circles per day. So that's how you can kind of do that one. But that is the water tracker. That comes in July to June, and September to August as well. And then there's this water tracker where you can color in the water drop if you meet your goal and you can write in the total ounces you had for the day. Then we have a weekly food log, so breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. So you can put in your macros here, your calories, you can put your Weight Watchers points. I left it very open just to be more universal. Then there's weekly wellness. I really love this one. So you can write in today's mood, what you're grateful for, hydration, movement for the day, your meals, and self-care item. So I love that. You can put what week it's for, and then you have seven columns for each day of the week. Then there's the weight tracker. There's 52 scales here, so the whole idea is you could write your weight in where the scale is, and then mark the date that you weigh in. So if you weigh in once a week, then this would work for that. Or if you want to weigh in just you know, once a month, you could always crop out the other scales, whatever you want to do. Um, you can always duplicate this page too. If you like to weigh in daily, you could easily do that. So lots of options. Then we have a workout log where you can put each day what you did for cardio, strength, stretching, and then any notes. And then we have year at a glance. So this is something that I have gotten lots of requests for. And um, it's basically just one line for each day of the month. I did do six months per page because otherwise the lines were just so itty tiny, like so itty bitty that you could barely write anything on them. So I did six months per page and there's a line for each day of the month and you can use this for anything. You could use it as like a perpetual calendar. You could use it to mark in your steps each day, one thing you're grateful for each day, whatever you want to do, but it gives you a really quick high level overview of, you know, the each month of the year. And then there's the year end reflection. So this year's accomplishments, what worked well this year, lessons learned this year and intentions for next year. And then we have the year in pixels. This is another one that I've gotten lots of requests for. So you've got all your months over here and then each day right here, you've got a spot where you can color code um, what each square is. And then you just simply color in the square. So you get that for Jan to December, July to June, and September to August. And those are all of the inserts. I did wanna show you real quick the dark mode, um, what I was talking about with the coloring in stuff. Okay, so just to show you how this works real quick, um, I just pulled over a big color block over here because you can't see it <laughs> um, on the white background, but when I put it on top of a dark background like this, you will notice that everything's white and then anything that you want to like color in, it's a solid white for the background so that the color will pop off the page still and not get lost in that dark background. So that's kind of how that works. Let's see if there's another one I can show, like the annual mood tracker, for example. That's one that you're going to do color coding. So anything with color coding or coloring in, you are going to have the ability to have your color still pop on the dark background, which I really, really love. So, um, and then, of course, they do come in portrait as well. So the portrait is, of course, going to be just laid out a little bit differently because the orientation's different. So let me see if this will... Um, get that in frame as best I can for you guys. Whoops. Um, I could zoom you guys out just a little bit, but I'll just do a quick like flip through. I won't show you every single one, but you'll just notice it's set up kind of differently for portrait. Um, so just a little different configuration, but all of the same types of inserts are included. So yeah, those are the inserts for health and fitness. Next, I want to share with you guys um, the sticker book. So I'm going to go over to new releases. 
and we're gonna go through, let's do the scripts first. I'll show you guys the scripts. So, let me go ahead and actually flip you, well, no, I'm gonna keep it this way. I think it's fine, it's showing up okay. But um, there are 191 scripts total for health and fitness scripts, and these are the same style as the essential scripts that were launched back in November. So tons and tons of script stickers to pick from, um, lots to do with, you know, um, working out and self-care and things like that, and then a couple, you know, specific requests I had gotten, but lots to pick from for your health and fitness scripts. So those are available in the shop. And then we also have the health and fitness sticker book. So this is gonna work the same as all the other sticker books in the shop. It is hyperlinked over here so that you're able to get your to your different sections very easily. Um, so you open it up by tapping on the circle here. It's gonna take you to this page where you have a note from me as well as some quick links to our Facebook group, my um, Instagram, YouTube channel, and Etsy shop. So there's all of that. And then we have date dots. So these come standard in all of like the meal planning, um, home management, all of that budget. You get a set of date dots to use if you want to use the insert organizers that are undated and all that. I just wanted you to have some sort of date dot to be able to use in case you need it. So those come in light mode and dark mode. And this is the case for all the sticker books, but anytime you wanna get back to the cover, all you have to do is tap on the title at the top and it's gonna always take you back to your cover. So just FYI there, there's the date dots. And then we get into cardio stickers. So these come in the 70 different colors. And I am kind of tempted to, yeah, I think I'm gonna flip it this way. I feel like you guys can kind of see that maybe a little bit better. Um, yeah, I think that's all showing in frame for the most part. Yeah, okay. So um, for these cardio ones, they're really cute. It has this little heart with the heartbeat on there and you can write in what your cardio is. And of course, like I mentioned, that comes in all 70 colors. So the whole idea behind the 70 colors is that you can find a sticker that will match any kit you're using um, pretty close to perfectly. Sometimes it might not be spot on, but there's lots of options here, different shades of different colors, just to try to find you know the one that works to match the kit that you're using. So there's cardio. And you always get um, a white one down here too, and it shows on that black background. That's for dark mode, so those are really fun to use. Then we have strength training, so it's just gonna have the little dumbbell there, and then you're able to write in what your strength training workout is for the day. And again, in all of those beautiful 70 colors to pick from. There's over 600, close to 700 stickers in the sticker book. Then we have steps, so if you want to mark your steps for the day, um, it comes with these really cute little shoe prints, which I love, and yeah, you can just write in your steps. And again, in all the different color options. And then we have weigh-in as well, and look how stinking cute. <laughs> I just love the little feet, they are so adorable. So you can mark your weigh-ins that way. Those come in all the different colors. And then we have Hydrate. I love these stickers, they're so cute. So it comes in all the colors, of course, and then it's a water bottle, like a sports water bottle, and there's little um, water drops on the bottle where you can check off when you've gotten your water for that day. So say you're doing like 80 ounces of water per day and each one stands for 10 ounces, you can kind of check it off or maybe it's just glasses of water or whatever it may be. So those come in all 70 colors as well, just to kind of flip you through all those. And these ones always look so cool on the black background. Then we get into the fitness watch, which we did do a sneak peek of the fitness watch in our Facebook group, and you all were very excited about it. I am loving this so much. So. One little trick that you can use, I hope I still have my, um, I do, I still have my kind of embarrassing <laughs> summary of my rings, but the whole purpose of this 
Um, and you can use this for any watch, by the way. If you use an Apple Watch, you can export your rings. It's really easy to do, actually. Let me um, show you. So I have my, where did I put my fitness? Okay, so if I go to health, fitness, I can go to my rings, and then I've had like no activity <laughs> for the past week because we've been sick. But say I wanna go um, to this one here, you can export it just by tapping on this little um, rectangle with the arrow sticking out. And I can just do save image. And then I will go ahead and airdrop that to myself on my iPad. So there we go, there's my rings. And then I can come back here and pull those in. And you can layer them right on top of the watch like that. And then you've got your whole summary. And then you've got your four bars over here where you can track your move, stand, exercise, your steps, whatever you wanna track. There's four different bars, and of course you can crop them out as well. So if you just want the watch, you don't want the bars, you can definitely do that. It's super easy to crop just by using your photo tool. Tap on the sticker, tap again, hit crop. And then just scooch these over. And then you'll notice now that is um, cropped out. The little bars are cropped out. So, but yeah, I mean, look how cool that looks, you guys. I absolutely love it. So, those are the fitness watches. They come in every 70 colors. So, lots of colors to pick from. I am obsessed with these. Um, I am personally very excited to use them because I honestly need to like pay more attention. I forget to put my watch on a lot of the days and I need to like be better about it. So I think these will really help with that because they're just so cute and you want to use them, you know? So there's the fitness watches. And then we get into the beans. So I showed you the bean jar inserts earlier. So these would be the beans that go along with it. And look how fun this page looks with all those colors, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. So there's a couple beans over here too. And then you also get the jars themselves. So if you don't want to use the insert and you want to just do the bean, you could even write on top of the bean like one pound, two pound, whatever it may be. And then you can put it in your jar. Um, so they come with a white outline and a black outline for light mode and dark mode. So that's the bean jar. And then we get into quotes, which I had so much fun putting these quotes together. It was probably my favorite. Eh, the watch and these, I think, were my favorite stickers to put together. The hydrate one was really fun, too. But anyways, um, so you've got mindset is everything. And there's that little head with the heart in the brain area right there. I think that's so cute. And then beast mode, installing muscles, please wait. I'm not swearing, I'm using my workout words. <laughs> Oh, that was really funny. Live, love, and lift. Sore today, strong tomorrow. Gym hair, don't care. And then there's eat, sleep, gym, repeat. Hustle for that muscle. Love your body. You've totally got this. Wake up, beauty. It's time to beast. Good things take time. Life is tough, but so are you. And I don't sweat, I sparkle. So there's some workout specific ones, but then there's also some just encouraging, uplifting ones in there for you as well. And they come in dark mode as well. So these ones will pop really nicely on the dark background. All the different quotes there. And then if you're using the inserts, these index labels are helpful to use for marking your um, sections in your notebook, in your hub, or your index for your one month planner. Um, that's why I provide these labels for you all so you can just kind of pull them over as you're putting together your indexes and stuff like that. So there's a label for each um, insert for the health and fitness stuff. So those come in light mode and dark mode. And then the last tab is your hex codes. So if you wanna find the specific hex code, that's where you can find those. Those are always included as well. So that is the health and fitness sticker book. And then we've got our scripts and we have all of our inserts. So those are all of the fun new health and fitness goodies I have for y'all today. Um, again, I don't remember if I mentioned earlier or not, I had to take a, slight intermission um, in between filming and clips for this video, but 
Um, there are a couple more items I had wanted to launch very soon, so uh, be on the lookout for that. I don't know exactly when they will be up, but I'm going to be working on them pretty soon. So, um, but this should definitely be plenty to get started with, that is for sure. So. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed um, watching this launch video and kind of getting an overview of everything. Again, apologies for the voice and the interruptions and stuff. It's just, it's just chaos over here right now, you guys. But I'm so excited nonetheless to be launching all these goodies for you guys. I know you've been so patient waiting for this launch um, and seeing all of your excitement in our Facebook group and everything. It just means the world to myself and to the team. So thank you so much. Um, to all of you for all of your support, all of your encouragement. I hope you love everything as much as I've loved creating everything for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all of our future videos, and I will chat with y'all later. Bye!